Okay, so in today's video we're going to have a look at factorising. So grab a piece of paper, grab a pen, make some notes, and we're going to get started. So we've got factorise 8x minus 20. So when we're factorising this, we're going to take out a factor, a factor being a number that goes into it. And obviously we've got two pieces here, we've got an 8x and a 20. So we're looking for something that goes into both of them. Now there are numbers that go into 8 and 20, we've got 2 and we've got 4. And both these numbers go into 8 and 20. Now when we're factorising, we're always going to try and find the biggest factor. And in that case, it is, this is the 4. So we're going to get the biggest factor. And all we're going to do is we're going to divide both these pieces by 4. Obviously, we, what we're going to do though is rewrite it. So I'm going to divide them both by 4. And I'm going to show inside a bracket what that becomes once we divide it by 4. So the 8x divided by 4 is 2x. Or you can think, what do I times 4 by to get to 8x? Well, it's got to be 2 to get 8 and then we've got to put the x in there to make sure we get the x with it. Copy the symbol, which is a minus, and then we just think, well, what do we times four by to get to 20? And that is five, and that's that factorized. And remember, you can always go and expand that bracket just to make sure you definitely get eight x minus 20. We'll only do it on this first one, but four times two x is eight x, and four times five is 20, and then we copy the symbol, so eight x minus 20. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so something slightly different here. We've got 6x plus x squared. Now we're going to think, think, think what do these both these pieces divide by? So we've got a 6x and we've got a 1x squared. Now, number-wise, the only thing they both divide by is 1. So obviously dividing by 1 doesn't change anything, so we don't need to think about dividing by 1. But they also both have an x in. So we could divide them both by the letter x. And we've just got to think, okay, well, what's going to go inside my bracket then? So what do we times x by to get to 6x? And that's going to have to be... 6, x times 6 is 6x. Copy the symbol again, plus, and what do we times x by to get to x squared? Now remembering x squared just means x multiplied by x, or x times x, so it's gotta be another x, and x times x gives you x squared, and that's that factorised. So no number on the outside, but we get a letter on the outside, and again, if we expand it out, x, x times 6 is 6x, and x times x is x squared, and again, just copying the symbol there for the plus, and it matches. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so written ever so slightly differently. Factorise 10 minus 5x. So again, there's not an x in both of these, so it will be a number this time. And let's just have a look. 10 and 5, other than 1, they both divide by 5. So it's going to be 5 on the outside of the bracket. So what do we times 5 by to get to 10? Well, that's going to be 2. Copy the symbol, the minus. And what do we times 5 by to get to 5x? And that is going to be x. There we go. So we get 5 brackets. 2 minus x as our final answer. Right, here's some for you to have a go at. So have a go at these four. Pause the video there. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers for these then. So the first one, numbers that go into 12 and 16. You've got 2 and you've got 4. So looking for the biggest one is 4. Open the bracket. How do we get to 12x? We times it by 3x. And how do we get to 16? That is going to be 4. So 4 brackets, 3x plus 4. Onto the one below. There's not a number in both, so just an x. Open it up. To get 5x, we have to times it by 5. Copy the symbol. And to get to x, we have to times it by x. And there's that one finished. Onto the top right. No numbers again, so it's an x on the outside. To get to x squared, we're going to need another x in the start of the bracket. Copy the symbol. And then to get to 10x, we need a 10 there. And there's that one finished. And then the final one here. Numbers that go into 30 and 15, we've got 5 and you've got 15. So uh, obviously we've got 3 as well, but let's just have a look at the biggest one here. So that's going to be 15. So 15 on the outside. And then you get 2 on the inside to get to 30. Copy the symbol. And to get to 15x, we're going to need an x in there. So 2 minus x in the brackets, finishing that off. So I'll look at some slightly different ones. Okay, so this question says factorise fully. And that normally means because there's two factors that can come out. So let's have a look. We've got 12x squared and we've got 10x. Now straight away, they've both got an x in and they've both got a number. So let's just look at the numbers to start with. So numbers that go into 12 and 10, our only option there is 2. So we can definitely take a 2 out. But there's an x in both as well. So we can also take an x out. Okay, we're just having a look at what goes into both. 2 goes into both those numbers, and x goes into both the letter parts. So 2x on the outside, open the bracket. Now, how do we, what do we multiply 2x by to get to 12x squared? Well, from 2 to 12, we have to times it by 6. And to make sure we get the x squared as well, we've also got to put an x in there. 
Again, just copy the sign, we finish with that piece. How do we get from 2x to 10x? Well, from 2 to 10 is 5, so times that by 5. But we don't want to put an x in with that piece because we don't want an x squared up here, just the 10x. So that's that one finished. There we go, 2x brackets 6x minus 5. Let's have a look at one more. Okay, so a slightly different question here. We've got 8x squared and we've got 4xy, so the introduction of a different letter here. Let's have a look what happens following the same process. So 8 and 4 both divide by 2, and they both divide by 4, so our biggest number there is 4. So we'll stick 4 on the outside, and they both have an x in. So we'll take the x out as well. Now that right piece there also has a y, but we'll have a look at how we make sure that we get that in a sec. So we've got 4x on the outside, they both divide by 4, and they both divide by x. So open up the bracket. To get from 4 to 8, we need a 2, and to make sure we get up to an x squared, we're going to need another x in there as well. Copy the symbol, plus, and then to make sure we get to 4, so 4xy four we're trying to get to, well we've already got 4 on the outside, so that would be 1, so we don't need to write that. We've already got an x on the outside, so we don't need to put an x, but we do need to make sure we get the y there, so I just have to put a y in with that one. And if we expand that, we'll hopefully see that we're definitely going to get this uh, this piece above here that we've got. So 4x times 2x, well 4 times 2 is 8, and x times x is x squared. Copy the symbol. 4x times y is just writing all the letters, 4xy. Brilliant. So it does work. Right, here's some for you to have a go at like this. So here's four questions. Pause the video there, and we'll go over the answers in a sec. Okay, let's have a look at the answers for these then. So, numbers that go into 20 and 8, the biggest number there is 4, and there's an x in both, so we'll take x out. Now to get from 4x to 20, we're going to need a 5, and to make sure we get the x squared, we need to put an x in, copy the symbol, and then to get to 8x, we need to times it by 2. And there's that first one. On to the one below. Biggest numbers that go into 9 and 12 is 3, and there's an x in both. Now we want to get to 9xy, so we want to get to 9, so we need a 3, and we want to introduce a y. So we need to put a y in there as well. Copy the symbol. To get from the 3 to the 12, we're going to have to times by 4. And to make sure we get this x squared part, we also need to put an x in there. So there we go. There's that one. Top right, numbers that go into 10 and 5. Uh, we've got 5. And there's an x in both. So we'll take an x out as well, similar to the last one. And on the inside, to get to 10, we're going to have to times by 2. And to get up to an x squared, we need to put an x in there. Copy the symbol. To get to 5, we times by 1, so I don't need to write that, uh, but we do need to introduce this y. We've got the x on the outside already, so 2x minus y. And to the last one below, biggest number that goes into 18 and 12 is 6, and there's an x in both. And then open your bracket, so to get to 18x, we need to times by 3. Don't need an x with that because we're not trying to get to x squared. Copy the symbol, and then to get to 12x squared, we need 2 to get 6 to 12, and an x to make sure we get up to the x squared, and that's that factorised. Okay, so just remember when it does say factorise fully, it gives you a little hint there that there's more than just one factor that can come out. Okay, that's the end of the video, um, so well done. If you like the video, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you for the next one.